Hello, how are we getting on? Hope everybody's all right and, and uh, getting home safe and sound from the match. So, match review from our 2 0 win against Watford. Another three points on the board, five wins from six. We're flying at the minute. Um, one point now behind third place. So, all in all, great to be a, a Sunderland fan at the moment. But the big mystery before the game was that Tony Mowbray announced that. There was obviously a first-team player who had suffered an injury. Wouldn't say who it was. Everybody was guessing. Rumours it was either Pritchard or Hume. And it turned out that it was Alex Pritchard, who's got a calf strain. Um, he's out and he's unlikely to be available for selection against Middlesbrough as well. So Abdullah Bar came in for him. But we also made a slight tactical change with Niall Huggins playing right back and Trey Hume playing left back. So the team to start the game tonight was Anthony Patterson in goal. Niall Huggins, Dan Ballard, Luke O'Neill, uh, Trey Hume, Dan Neil, Joby, Patty Roberts, Abdullah Barr, Jack Clark and Mason Burstow up front. And the game started off um, pretty much like a feed at Wood. Um, you would say Watford have got some dangerous players, but six minutes, the crowd stood as one. Absolutely brilliant. A minute round of applause for little Bradley Lowry. After recent events, you know, it was absolutely great to see and just shows you how all our Sunderland fans stand together as one when these type of things happen. So an absolutely fantastic achievement from the Sunderland fans. So thanks to everybody for that minute's applause um, for little Bradley. The game in the first 15, 20 minutes was padding out the same, like like Cardiff. Uh, they were sitting in deep, trying to hit us on the break and we were starting to get frustrated. We started giving a few sloppy passes away. Then as as the the first half was looking like it was going to drift away, then we had we a few little bits of of nice play, um, a few little bits and pieces where some great work down the right, the, the ball came into burst and he should have shot, and I think he tried a fancy flick and, and the, we lost it. Again, teams have done the homework on Jack Clark. Every time he got the ball, he was getting doubled up on, which obviously we should have left more space for Bar. And Bar, to be fair, was getting the ball. Him and Roberts were linking him quite well. And got on some, some quite nice positions, forced a couple of corners. But we just couldn't, like I say, we just couldn't get in behind them and couldn't create that chance. Um, and then as the half went on, we started playing slower and slower. Everything was going from side to side. Instead of playing th through them a little bit, you know, and we, like I say, we looked as though we were getting a little bit de devout of ideas. Um, and it was heading towards a frustrating nil-nil draw at half time. But upstairs, Niall Huggins, Dan Neil gets the ball in the middle of the pitch. Sprays the ball out on the right-hand side to Niall Huggins. Huggins, absolutely fantastic. One thing on his mind, drives towards a penalty area, beats two or three men, and then like a toe poke into the top left-hand corner, in off the bar. It's 1-0, you know, and it absolutely sets the place on fire. You know, right before half-time, it's a great time to score, and it's a goal, you know, that we're, we're so desperately needed. If it had gone in at half-time, 0-0, then, like I say, I, I feared the game would have drifted the same as the Cardiff game and we could have been um, under a bit more pressure in the second half. But you would say they're, they're at the end of the side. They've got some decent players. You know, when they were hitting, coming forward, they were playing some nice little you know, tricky passes in around the box. But again, they had a couple of shots, but nothing you know, too serious that troubled um, Patterson's goal. So we go on at, at half-time 1-0. And then you think, right, well, now they've got to come out in the second half. And to be fair to them, First 15 minutes of the second half, they give it a go. You know, they were pressing us high. We were making some sloppy decisions, keep giving the ball away in midfield. Dan Neil tonight gave the ball away on, on quite a few occasions. And when the rain started as well, you know, the pitch starts getting slippy. Control starts going a little bit awry. And you think, well, this is going to be a long second half. They made a couple of changes as well for to freshen things up. And uh, it was looking like Watford were going to, you know, come on strong and... And nick that equaliser but we then get a corner um it comes out i think it's to joby joby puts the ball in the box it, it spins up and to be fair abdullah bar actually rises above the goalkeeper to head it in you know and bearing in mind their goalkeeper six foot plus absolutely fantastic from abdullah bar just on the goal line to nod it in two nil and that kind of takes the pressure off a little bit and there uh, you think well you know surely that that's got to be game over but Watford still give it a go. You know they made some more changes. Um, that they brought they brought on the, the fullback Ryan Atkinson. Um, 
who's got a bit of a reputation for you know for, for a few tackles, which proved to be the case later on. Um, you know, we made a couple. Oshish came on, um, Rujin came on, Emir came on towards the end, and then obviously four or five minutes from the end, Ryan Andrews dives him on a tackle. It's a straight red card from the referee, who incidentally I thought the referee was was quite poor tonight. Um, you know, I know he tried to let the game flow a little bit, but some of the things that were fouls that he was missing was was really really bad. You know, and it was uh, somebody could have gotten hurt. I thought there was loads of loads of fouls that he missed, which was frustrating. The watching was getting the crowd quite um, anxious as well, getting on his back. But we managed to see the game out. We win two 0 It's a fantastic win. You know, not the fact, not a, I wouldn't say it's a, it's a world class performance, but them's the type of games. When teams come and sit in deep and try hit on the break, this is what you have to do. We were patient. Ballard and Wanai were absolutely solid at the back tonight. Um, you know, stood up to everything what they they are through. They've got some you know big centre forwards and and we stood up with them and got the goals at the crucial times. You know, right on the stroke of half time, and then obviously sixty two minutes, which kind of killed the game off as far as they were concerned. So. Like I said at the start of the video, it's it's five wins from six. We're now one point behind Preston, I think, in third, who lost tonight at Leicester. We'll move on to Middlesbrough at the weekend. Going to be a really, really good game against the team in form. They've won their last three, so you know they've, they've turned a corner a bit. But last year, they came to the stadium like in the same type of form, and look what happened then. You know We beat them quite easily. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below of how you thought the game went tonight. Like I say, a professional performance. I'm going to give the team ratings, player ratings for Anthony Patterson, 7 out of 10. Like I say, he had a couple of shots to save it and did and did what he had to do. He's kicking looking a lot better tonight as well. Trey Hume, 7 out of 10, solid again on that left-hand side. Um, Ballard, Ballard and 09 in the middle, absolutely both rocks, um, 8 out of 10. And Luke 09, especially breaking out of defence um, and taking the pressure off was great to see. Niall Huggins, Fantastic performance. He's just getting better and switching it right back. He looked look even better again. Raised his game to a higher level. But he gets the goal at the crucial time. And uh, 9 out of 10 and Niall Huggins be my man of the match. Dan Neil, 7 out of 10. Again, a little bit sloppy at times. But you know, you're not going to give 9 out of 10 performances every week. But still wanted to get on the ball and still wanted to make things happen. Joby, again, 7. Was trying to get forward a little bit more tonight. Um, trying to break the lines. But again, neat and tidy. Roberts, 7 out of 10 as well, playing in that Pritchard role just inside. Abdullah Bar playing in the right-hand side. And I thought he did actually fantastic tonight, Abdullah Bar. I'm going to give him 8 out of 10. He, I was in between giving him and Nile Goods man of the match because he caused them all sorts of trouble down the right-hand side. He's also gets stuck in and he's also got a great leap on as well, like you say, for the goal. So 8 out of 10 for Abdullah Bar. Jack Clark, 7 out of 10. You know, he's... Wasn't he quite his electric self, but that's purely because you know they doubled up on him. But he was still, you know, prepared to have a go and try to take people on. And Mason Burstow again didn't quite happen for him today, but he 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 is working hard for the team. Um, he's getting stuck in, picked up a booking as well. But seven out of ten for Mason Burstow as well. Um, El Sheesh came on and looked you know good in, in flashes as well. So all positive signs moving forward for the weekend. Elsewhere in the championship. Um, Coventry beat Blackburn 1-0, Leeds beat Queen's Park Rangers 1-0, Leicester beat Preston 3-0, absolutely flying at the minute, Leicester aren't there? Um, Swansea beat Norwich 2-1 and Rotherham lost at home to Bristol City. So like, overall that leaves us on uh, 19 points, we're a point behind Preston on, on 20. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Watch out for the match preview for Middlesbrough that's going to be coming out probably tomorrow um, afternoon in time to get your score predictions for um for the game on Saturday at half past 12. I'll also update the shirt composition on the video tomorrow as well. But, as I always say, great to sign off. End of a great week. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Stay safe and we'll speak soon. ta -ra.